What's up guys, welcome back to All Wings Everything. Yes, you are back in my kitchen with your boy Spinelli for another simple and easy recipe. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make meatloaf, but we're gonna do it in the air fryer. Yeah, I know it sounds strange, but guys, it is totally delicious. So, I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. All right, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe. Let me tell you what we have here. We have some ground beef here. We're gonna use some spicy brown mustard. We have some light brown sugar in the back. You can use dark brown sugar, but all I had was light brown sugar. Some panko bread. We're gonna use ketchup, uh, salt, W sauce, black pepper, basil, paprika, garlic, onions, two eggs, and right here we have um, we have thyme here, we have rosemary here, oregano. To substitute the basil, oregano, parsley, thyme, and rosemary, just use Italian seasoning. So here they didn't have any Italian seasoning, so I had to make my own Italian seasoning. That's why I have all that. But to make it simple, if you got Italian, Italian seasoning, use that. All right, so these are the ingredients, guys. So let's go ahead and move on. All right, so I've measured out our ingredients, so let me tell you what we have here. Right here, I have about two pounds of ground beef. I have a half a cup of panko bread. I have two tablespoons of that light brown sugar. I have four garlic cloves, minced. You can use four to, matter of fact, this is five garlic cloves, so you can use four to five. And right here, I have a teaspoon of each of the dry herbs, the oregano, the thyme, the basil, the rosemary, and the parsley. I have one teaspoon of uh, spicy uh, mustard, a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of paprika, uh, one tablespoon of salt. Now you don't have to use a tablespoon of salt and I may not use a tablespoon, but it's gonna be close to it. I wanna make sure this is seasoned properly for me. Two tablespoons of uh, W sauce. I have a cup of uh, onions, three fourths cups of ketchup, and we're gonna use these two eggs right here. So these are the ingredients, guys, so let's go ahead and move on. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat a tablespoon of butter. And next, we're gonna add our onions. And we're gonna cook these until they soften, about two to three minutes. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our garlic. And I'm going to cook this also for about another minute until that garlic starts to give off that nice fragrance. All right, so it looks like we're about a minute in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn off our heat. And we're gonna let this rest while we prepare our ground beef. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and prepare our ground beef. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to add our onions that we just cooked. So we're gonna get that kind of in there. We're gonna get all this stuff mixed up. Next, we're gonna add our salt. And remember, I did, I did about a tablespoon of salt. I think this is gonna be sufficient. And also what I forgot to mention, you want two tablespoons of fresh parsley. I forgot about that, guys. So you wanna add that two tablespoons of fresh parsley. Next, you wanna add you some black pepper. Let's add our paprika. Our W sauce. Let's add our breadcrumbs. Let's add our two eggs. and our dry herbs. And I'm gonna mix them together like this. Sprinkle them over like that. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start massaging all this together. So we're just gonna work this stuff, this um, these ingredients in here. Now guys, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna work it too much, like pressing in it, you just wanna gently massage it and get the ingredients in there, but you don't want to press it too much. Kind of like that. Looks like we're there. All right, and we'll move on. All right, so if you have a meatloaf pan, it'll be great if you could uh, get that to kind of shape and mold your um, 
your ground beef. So what I found this little, um, I don't know what this is, some type of container that I'm going to use to, to mold my meatloaf, kind of get it shape that I want it in. Now this pan is actually too long in terms of if I was to put, you know, make a meatloaf this long, it won't, fit, it would not fit in my air fryer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit smaller form, kind of like this. All right, so I'm gonna get this all molded up, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, you see what I've done? So what I did was I, I molded it into that aluminum foil in that um, container I had, and I just removed the container put it here in the air fryer and I have about a layer of four here at the bottom um, I put that in there because I was going to take it out of this mold and just put it on to this this bottom piece of four but I was like ah oh, what the what what the hell let's let me go ahead and just sit it right there so this will work it won't you know it'll work just fine so what we're going to do is we're going to place this into our air fryer and we're going to let this cook on Gonna let it cook on 370 for 35 minutes. Now, 15 minutes into the into the cooking time, what you want to do is you want to check your meatloaf to make sure that it's not cooking too fast on the top, that the top is not browning too fast because you don't want to do that. If it is, then what you want to do is you want to cover it up with the aluminum foil. So we're gonna get this here on 35 minutes. Go ahead and get it started, and we'll be right back. And we're gonna check it after 15 minutes to make sure that we're not doing any we're not browning too quickly on the top all right guys so we're 15 minutes in let's take a look at our meatloaf now this is what we're talking about so i like the way it's brown right now it's not too brown so i didn't want it to look uh like burnt so what i'm going to do is i want that color to remain because we still got more time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some aluminum foil and i'm just going to cover it, the top of it so I don't want it to burn brown too fast. So I'm just gonna stick it over the top like that. And we're gonna stick it back in there and we're going to go ahead and let it finish the 35 minutes. And we'll be right back. All right, so while we're finishing up our uh, meatloaf, what we're gonna do is start preparing our um, ketchup sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add our, we have a teaspoon of W sauce here. Remember we have three fourths cups of ketchup, add our brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, you can use honey. We're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and our teaspoon of spicy mustard. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just get that a good mix like this. Just that simple, guys. This is what it looks like. And we're just gonna sit that aside until our meatloaf is finished 35 minutes of cooking. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are 30 minutes, 35 minutes in. So let's remove our, our uh, aluminum foil. Take a look at this. This is what, oh man. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to start spreading our ketchup sauce onto our meatloaf. And we're gonna let this cook for another 10 minutes. All right, take a look at that. Man, that looks good. All right, so we're gonna let this cook for 10 minutes and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are done. Let's take a look at our meatloaf. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this out, uh, get it all plated up, and I'll be right back. And there you have it, guys, air fryer meatloaf. Guys, take a look at this. Let me bring a little bit closer, see what you guys think about that. Doesn't that look delicious? Very simple recipe, guys. I'm gonna leave the ingredients and the measurements all in the video description below if you guys wanna check it out. If you don't have those ingredients, you can also click those links, take you straight to Amazon. And I appreciate the support, guys. Go ahead, hit that like button if you like this video. Also, follow me on Instagram at All Wings Everything. And let's go ahead and get into this quality control because I'm ready to bite into this. All right, let's go. All right, guys. So you know it's time for that quality control. So let's take a look, another look at that meatloaf. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and bite into it, and I'm gonna let you guys know what I 
what I think about this thing. Smells good. Oh man. Woo. Oh my goodness. Guys, I love a good meatloaf. Mm. I've been receiving a lot of comments. People saying, hey, I don't know why I've been waiting so long to get an air fryer. You're making me get a get an air fryer, or some people say I'm getting an air fryer this week or next week. Guys, you need an air fryer. These recipes are simple, they're delicious. Man, this meatloaf is off the chain. Do they say off the chain anymore? I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old. What they say now, lit, slamming. All I know is these some good groceries, dog. And until then, I'm gonna cook vanilla, all wings, everything. And I am out. Peace.